to my channel and I hope you guys are having a great and wonderful day. If you're new, hello and welcome. Today we're having a spa day at home. We did one about a month ago. We need to do one again. We need to relax at least once a month. Today we're just focusing on the face, no hair, nothing else just the luxurious at home DIY facial. We're gonna have a good time. We are at home at our own spa. Go ahead and grab your spa clothes. I had already bought this from the last video, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it because it did cost a little bit of coin. I did invest in this. But if you don't have this girl, don't worry. Grab your t-shirt, grab your sweatpants. That's all you need. Just 30 minutes to relax. Let's get started. We're all about having luxury experiences at low cost. We don't have a lot of coin, it's called a student, so I'm trying to share all the tips that I can so you can make sure that you're feeling pampered but you're not breaking the bank at the same time. First things first, you're gonna get yourself some lemon water, some sort of ice water. I got myself some lime water right here in my glass. We're trying to get zen, we're trying to get in the mode. Also, put on your relaxing spa music, turn on some candles. I burn all my candles already, so we're gonna pretend it's smelling like like aromatherapy is doing its thing. We're just gonna pretend it's doing that. And then we're gonna listen to the music and we're gonna get refreshed. So first let's take our water break. Come on, cheers. Thank you. Oh child, your girl was thirsty. I'm gonna start by washing my hands so I can start with my facial that we're doing today. Like I always say, it's very important for you to wash your hands, period. But also specifically when you're using your face, are you gonna wash your face with the dirty hands? That's just putting dirt on cleanliness, on dirt. You know what I mean? So always wash your hands. Also during this time, we gotta wash our hands extra because of this virus that's going around. We gotta make sure our hands are clean and we're doing this the right way. So go ahead, wash your hands. Okay, so for today's luxury treatment at home, we're gonna do a facial. We're gonna do DIY. We're gonna save as much coin as we get. The more coin we save, the more coin we have later for bigger and better stuff which is awesome. I looked at the steps online to see what the usual facial steps are when you go into a spa. Okay, so the first step is cleansing. I like to double cleanse personally just because the first cleanse does not get it off. I know also when I get facials, she does, goes in twice to make sure to get everything out. So I like to first remove everything that I have on my face, dirt, any residue makeup, with my cleansing wipes pads. So this is what I like to use. I've used this for at least like a year. I love this stuff. So this is a Garnet Micellar Cleansing Water. I go ahead and use cotton rounds. I like to shake this a little bit. I always use the blue one, and sometimes when they don't have the blue one, I like to use a pink one, and I just go ahead and saturate my cotton round and go ahead and remove any residue makeup from my face. Bye. By my side, start in a liquefied. Okay, so we got all the dirt and nastiness off of our face. It is gone. And now we're gonna do cleansing step number two using any gentle cleanser that you like. I'm actually borrowing my brother's real quick. I recommended it to him and forgot how much I loved using it, so we're gonna use it real quick. So this is the Body Shop Tea Tree Cleansing Wash. This makes your face feel so refreshed. The tea tree, that little mintiness in your face, awesome. I'm gonna use this with a face brush. You guys know how much I love using this facial brush. I talk about it all the time. However, Duval was so nice enough to send me this brush to try it out. Not sponsored or any way. Just gonna head and try it out for you guys. So it comes with four heads. It comes with a cleansing brush, really big one for your body. This one is for exfoliating, and this one is a pumice head. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the cleansing one with this wash, and we're gonna cleanse our face. Need you here to tell me that'll be okay. Maybe one, love and two, and now it's three. 3 a.m., thinking what if it's you and me. At the end, maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back Okay, so now our faces are nice and clean. We're feeling refreshed. Update on the brush. So I like this one because it has a nice big handle. It does come with four interchangeable heads, which is nice. If I just were to compare side to side the cleansing brush on these two, the both brushes are nice. The handle's kind of big. It's better to hold with this one. So I would recommend it. I have yet to use the body, the exfoliating, and the pumice one, so I could give a later update on that. But if you guys do want to try it, I do have a code, you can use code NATASHA for 70% off your purchase. Again, not sponsored, but if you wanna try it, you can go ahead and do so. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and move on, but first we're gonna take a little water break because we need a little hydration in the body. You be making moves at you who really care what Simon say. All the bad things, girl, I had to look past. That 
that hit different. So next step is steaming our face. I know that when you go to the spa, they're constantly steaming your face to make sure your pores are open. We don't have the coin to get that machine, but we do have the coin to grab some very, very hot water and put it in a bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead, put my face in this. I made sure that this time it was extra hot because last time I did it, it wasn't that hot. I Googled it and it says that you can put some like essential oils, you can put rosemary in it. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave water in here, put my face in here for a couple minutes, make sure my pores are nice and open, and then we're gonna move on to the next step. So let's do some steaming. Need you here to tell me that I'll be okay. Maybe one, love and two, and now it's three. Yeah. Face is hot, pores are nice and open. We're gonna go ahead and apply a mask. Today's mask I made at home. It is an oatmeal and honey mask. For this one, I did a quarter cup of oatmeal, one tablespoon of honey, a quarter cup of water, and go ahead and mix this in. And now I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my face. I'm gonna leave this bowl right underneath so it doesn't fall anywhere on the counter and going to start applying. The instructions for this mask said that you can add as much water that you want. I went ahead with a quarter cup. Maybe if you want it a little bit thicker, add less water. What if it's you and me? At the end, maybe we'll be okay. I know. In case you were wondering where it was all falling, I thought it was all falling inside my bowl. Bold of me to assume it was falling all over my sleeve. I'm gonna go ahead and let this face mask sit for 10 minutes And then I'm also gonna add chamomile tea bags to my eyes I put this in really cold water and this supposedly de puffs your eyes. I didn't have any cucumber So I'm gonna go ahead Lay down and put this on my eyes and let this sit for 10 minutes So go ahead relax listen to some music have some you time and really you know meditate and do your stuff so Let's go. That you're coming back home. Know that you're coming back home. Know that you're coming back home in the morning. I know that you're coming back home. Having my own conversations. Hoping I really recommend this on the eyes. It's nice and cold and refreshing. You don't have to spend a bunch of money getting like those de-puffing things. I just put this in hot water, let it sit for a little, and then put a bunch of ice cubes in cold water in it, and then just let that sit. But now I'm gonna put these away and I'm gonna wash this off because this is a very, very messy face mask and it's falling all over the place. My goodness my face feels fantastic I'm not gonna lie the mask is super messy but my face feels amazing girl save your coin and get a beautiful face we love to see it so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my luxury treatment by giving myself a massage I'm gonna go ahead and massage in my last few products and these are the products that I like to use when I'm doing my face routine like my extended skincare routine so first thing is some sort of serum or formula this is the ordinary niacinamide zinc formula super inexpensive love how this works we have three visitors today on our face one two three and we don't want them to be there we didn't send them an invitation but they came regardless so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and start to go ahead and give myself a massage on my face and continue with the rest of my products a couple of drops So now that that is nicely incorporated into the skin, I'm gonna go ahead and use an eye cream just to make myself feel more luxurious. I'm using the Marbidescu Hyaluronic Eye Cream. Just put a little bit of this underneath my eyes. Last and most important step, moisturizer slash SPF. I know we're not going outside much these days, but the second you do happen to hop on outside for a little bit, you want to be protected from the sun. This is my favorite SPF moisturizer thus far that I found. All the ones that I've tried so far leave like this white film on my face or like the sunscreen smell. This kind of has like this sunflowery smell. I like the smell of this and it's a 50 SPF, so 
I like to put this at the end when I'm done at my routine. I put about this much and go ahead and put it all over my face. Make sure I'm doing my neck in upwards motion. People don't show enough love on their neck and that is the first sign of aging because people usually forget to moisturize their neck. So I make sure that I go ahead and moisturize my neck and when I do I do it with an upward motion I learned that of recently I usually just like went down but we don't want to stretch the skin you know just upwards motion make sure we're nice and moisturized and get that in the rest of the skin okay I actually forgot our very last step is chapstick this time we don't have any lip treatments maybe for our next spa day if you guys want to see one we can do one but I'm just gonna end it up with chapstick cuz I Hey. the feeling of dry lips I literally my respiration my breathing my oxygen passing in my body does not continue when my lips are dry I will not focus like it's something about me like I cannot leave the house without chapstick never that is the recipe for disaster so I'm gonna go ahead moisturize with this one because this is the one I only have at hand get that on there and we're done look at our skin we are glowing wait hold on let's take one last sip cheers Everyone's up to see <sighs> ladies gentlemen everyone we have been relaxed we are officially relaxed our faces are glowing. Look at how my face is glowing, guys. Look at it. You can't tell me my face isn't glowing. We are thriving. I hope you guys had a fantastic time with me today getting our pampering on, our luxury at-home DIY, save money, save your coin, spa facial shenanigans. I hope you guys had fun. Please let me know if you try it out. I have so much fun doing these, and if you guys want to see another one, I just love pampering myself. If you guys want to see another one, you can take it to the next level next time. Leave a comment down below on that and let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below on any video you guys want to see next, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on my Instagram and TikTok, both at Natasha Matherin, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh,